Брюс Ли и Морта. Division Collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introduction. We go inside the octagon this where we find Bruce Lee. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Assassin. And now it's going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Just misses there with the left. Effective strike there by Lee. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. He's 
looking for that left hand. Not there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Well, he misses with the left punch there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Not there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Three minutes to go in the round. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just missed with the left there. Huge block there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Powerful leg kick land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Clocks the shot. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Point accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, 
Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Liver kick. Oh, man. Head kick lands. Hands high. Hands high. Lee gets hit with a kick. Punch coming. It's blocked. Just right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just missed with the leg kick. And they separate. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Up the middle with the uppercut. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just misses with the jab. Big punch lands through the middle. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick now. All right, breathe and relax. Real sneaky body kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Take him down. What a punch. Get ready to counter that double jab, boy. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Seconds to go. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. Beautiful punch. Ten seconds to go. Big kick lands. And that's the end of round number two. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and 
at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Dig and kick. hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. More than one, more than one. Punch the nice punch lands. Oh, beautiful meet of the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nice, sneaky head kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going forward. Big head kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Leg kick land. Whiffs on that offering. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Oh, big punch land. And they separate. Need to get a takedown now. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, huge block! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. And they separate. Big shot lands. Take the time. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Those punches to the body are really starting to take it forward. 
All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Okay. Trying to kick the leg out. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's focus on this fight. Big head kick lands. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And they separate. Good stick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Stay relaxed and breathe. Go for the setup, okay? It's gonna be there. Beautiful head kick. Beautiful strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Able to check the high kick. All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything but the kitchen sink at each other, and it's showing because both of them seem exhausted out there in the middle of the octagon. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Ninety seconds to go now. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Under one minute remains in round four. Nice punch lands over the top. Just out of range with that left hook. Under a minute to go in round four. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Ooh 
Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Hold your ground. I need you to go. 20 seconds left. You got the turtle in that kick. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Back and forth we go! Just missing on the high kick there. Hey, stop! Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. How good is that right hand? Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Slips the shot. It's such a fast leg kick. Unable to land with that punch. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, big head kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. Back and forth we go. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Over and over he's landed these big body kicks. Just missed on the front kick there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Got the single collar tie. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Under two minutes now with which to work. Strike right there. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Too. 
Nice. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Under one minute remains in round five. Nice strike. 45 seconds remain in the round. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Just a slip there. Final ten seconds of the fight. know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments,